Welcome back to the College Cooking. Ugh. Welcome back to the College Cooking Show. Guys, on today's episode, we're gonna make Mongolian beef, the classic American Chinese food. It's much easier than you might think. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All right guys, Mongolian beef. Here's what you're gonna need. Start off our protein, we're using flank steak, green onions, some whole chilies. Now, these might be harder for you to get. These are whole dried chilies. Um, they're not gonna be in the, the spice section with, the, with everything else. They're gonna probably be in the produce section. There should be a rack of dried fruits, dried spices. That's where you're gonna find these. If you can't find these, chili flakes work just the same, just your classic red pepper flake. And then some ginger, some garlic. For our sauce, it's simple. Just brown sugar, soy sauce, a little bit of hot sauce, and what's gonna give us that crispy Mongolian beef texture, cornstarch. All right, that's it. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna trim our flank steak. Flank steak is great, cheap cut of meat. It's the abdomen of the cow, so if the cow's on all fours right here, flank is right here. So it usually needs a little work, but we're gonna cut it super thin, and also how you cut it is gonna be a lot, have a lot to do with how it feels and how it bites in your mouth. So we're gonna cut it in half, Lengthwise like this, that's the only time we're gonna do this because that's going with the grain and we're gonna shave against the grain. If you shave with the grain, if you cut it like all the way like this, you're gonna have just very tough, hard to eat pieces of meat. You can tell where the grain is just by looking at the meat. You can see kind of these lines, these stripes going down of the muscle, that's the grain. So cutting with it would be cutting along those little stripes, those little grooves, cut against the grain, cut against those lines kind of going horizontally there. And then what we're gonna do, take your knife, and we're gonna make, we're gonna go kind of at a 45 degree angle. So if this is straight on, go 45 degrees, and then just shave about, you know, quarter inch thick pieces, and then keep keep that angle up, keep that bias up. It's gonna help also with the texture. And normally if I was doing a flank, like a whole flank and grilling and marinating it, I would trim all this grizz and all this fat off and put some more work into it. But again, because we're cutting this so thin, that's not really gonna be a problem. So once you have all your steak shredded up like that, we are gonna coat it in cornstarch. And now this, it's not gonna create a breading, it's not gonna be like a chicken nugget, it's not gonna be thick. It's just gonna do a little layer and it's gonna give it that crispy lightness. All those American Chinese foods that have that like light crispy fry to them, that's all just cornstarch and the meat itself. Very simple to do, very easy. A few heaps go into the bowl and then we will add our steak in. Give that a stir, just give that a mix with your hand. You're ready to hit the fryer. This is just vegetable oil. You can use canola oil, any good frying oil on uh, medium, medium high heat for you know, 10, 15 minutes to come to temperature. And a good way to test, if you're not flicking anything in, take one of your wooden spoons, wooden chopstick, stick it in the middle. And if it starts to bubble up all around, that means you're ready to fry. And you don't want to crowd the pan, so give everything some space. And this will cook fast, probably two, three minutes top is all we're gonna need for this. It's gonna fry up, get crispy, cook all the way through. All right, while those are frying, I'm just gonna chop up some garlic. So I have three cloves of garlic and then just a little knob of ginger, not even that much. I'm gonna do just a thin slice on it. You can mince it if you want. And if you know if your knife skills aren't perfect, if they're not super thin, just take your knife, rock chop all the way through it. And then same thing with the ginger. You can combine ginger and garlic just into one pile. We're gonna fry that up in a second here. Let's go check back on our steak. When you get that color, that's how you know they're ready and they're gonna cool off. Put them on a paper towel to drain. Now the last thing we have to do is we're gonna make our sauce and this is gonna tie it all together. This will be our stir fry sauce. Very, very easy to do. All you're gonna need is about three fourths a cup brown sugar and then soy sauce just until that's covered. And then we're gonna put in some hot sauce, get a little spice in there, mix it up nice. We have our sweet, we have our salty, we have our spicy. That's a triple threat combo right there. And just give that a stir, get all that sugar to dissolve. Give that a taste. Yes, perfect. Not too salty, not too sweet, not too hot. We can do our final prep. We're just gonna take our green onions now. This is gonna be just our garnish. We're gonna toss this in at the last minute with our stir fry. You want like one inch pieces, just like that, just the greens, leave, this, leave the roots out. You can plant these, put these back in a jar of water, they'll grow again. So get a wok, you wanna go on high heat. Anytime you're stir frying, it's high heat, high speed, quick, 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 hot, hot, hot. Pan's heating up, if you don't have a wok, don't worry, this will work in a regular pan. Just try to use a bigger size pan so you can move everything around. There's a lot more surface area. With the wok, you have the high rim so you can bring things up and you can get heat all the way through. I'm gonna pull our steak off. Before I do that though, vegetable oil. We're gonna go in with about two tablespoons of vegetable oil just on the bottom. Ah, I'm gonna go a little bit more. And then, here's where our chili is coming to play. Our dried chili peppers, crank this thing up all the way to high. We're gonna blacken these. So what we wanna do, you actually wanna burn them. You're gonna get a black, what that's gonna do, all that heat from the chili is gonna go infused into the oil. If you're using chili flakes, I wouldn't go as far as to blacken them, but I'd put them still into the oil to get that spice through there. 
But with these, I'm gonna put them in, just burn the fuck out of them. Super common in authentic Chinese dishes. If you'd like, if you don't want them in your dish right now, you can take them out, be done with them, pull them out. I'm gonna leave a few in. The pan's gonna get pretty crowded. Ooh, see, ooh, it burnt, ooh! And it gets you right in the nose. That's that spice coming through. All right, and then this is all gonna go quick now. Once we're ready, we're gonna go fast, fast, fast. We have our steak out here, all crispy, beautifully fried. We're gonna go in right now with our ginger and our garlic. Now, we don't want that to burn, so we gotta keep it moving in the pan. We just want that to toast. It's gonna get a nice brown on it. We do not want it to get blackened, though. We do not want the same thing with garlic. You burn garlic, horrible taste. Go until it's brown. It's gonna happen quick. You're gonna see it change before right in front of your eyes. And you know what? Those chilies are just gonna get in my way, so I'm gonna take them out. If I had a bigger wok, I'd leave them in, but they've served their purpose. We can just take them out. And then look, all right, so now everything's brown, perfect. Don't want it to get black. In with the steak. Steak goes in, give that a toss. Now the steak's already cooked, so all we gotta do, glaze it, and this will cool the pan down. It's all gonna reduce into a sticky syrup now. Oh, and it smells amazing. Just give your wok a shake, get that all coated, all covered. And now we're done. Look, the sauce is reducing. This is what I love about stir fries. I love about wok cooking. It's very fast. Like I'm sweating though, because it's fucking hot. It all happens fast. Just give that a shake. And then finish green onions. Right in, we're just gonna fold these in. That residual heat is just gonna kind of wilt them down. So that steak was super crispy when we took it out, but now we poured that sauce over it, so it's kind of absorbed from that. It's lost some of its crispiness. It's like the perfect texture, I think, for Mongolian beef. And then right here, just hit it with some sesame seeds just to finish it off. If you don't have sesame seeds, don't worry. Don't break your back trying to go buy these. They're just nice to have in your pantry. If you're making Asian dishes, I always have them as a little good garnish. But that's it, we're done. We can go ahead and turn this wok off. Just pile this up. I mean, tell me it doesn't look like you just went to fucking Panda Express or General Tao's or whatever the fuck. Bang, that is a plate. Serve this up with some rice. Get a nice side of fried rice, white rice, brown rice, whatever rice you fucking want to eat. Or like me, just eat it straight up. I'm gonna grab a fork. Mmm. 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 Fuck y'all. Yeah. Fuck General Tao. Fuck Panda. Fuck this Express shit. This is all you have to do. You need soy sauce, you need hot sauce, a little bit of flank steak, cornstarch, that's it. You're gonna have yourself some American Chinese food right at home. Guys, that's it for this episode of the College Cooking Show. I will see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace. Or uh, they say bye-bye in Chinese, it's not that exciting. See you next time. Bye-bye.